I used to have a job in a casino, and I used the microphone all the time in college. Um, well, thank you all for being here today. Um, I want to bring a, maybe a different perspective than, than these guys, because they're big, great organizations that do great work, and we're very small, and we're a new startup. Uh, Go Proud is an organization, as many of you probably know, of gay conservatives, and we started in April of last year. So we're just not even a year old. And as you might expect, we're in a niche market. And <laughs> when we decided that we were going to start, we thought, well, how are we going to find these people? We know that they're out there. How are we going to find them? And, and it really started with two guys and a couple of laptops and a coffee shop. So we knew that we had to use to the best of our ability and on very little money of technology to organize uh, our organization and start it from scratch. And so that's what we did. I mean, we, we set up the website and we, we use, we still continue to use a mix of uh, a, a database and uh, contact management software that we pay for and that, that we manipulate and own. And then we also use Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and the free stuff because we have to. That's all we can afford. So um, it, it, uh, it works great, and, and we're able to be effective with a mix of the pay for and the, and the free stuff, and you have to. But shortly after we got started, we, we had an opportunity to help pass an important piece of legislation. And we looked at each other and we said, okay, we are only six weeks old. We've only managed to, uh, to build our database for you know, not even two months. We've got 500 people. How are we going to be able to influence Congress to pass a piece of legislation? It's just unfathomable. But the opportunity was there. And while I won't get into talking about issues, I want to tell you about how we worked on this particular issue. Um, as many of you know, last summer, Congress debated the infamous hate crimes bill. And we knew that Senator John Thune uh, was a proponent of the concealed carry reciprocity amendment, or bill, which would have allowed people to carry their concealed weapon uh, with their permit into other states away from their home uh, that allowed concealed carry. So if you were from a concealed carry state, you could carry in another concealed carry state without having to get that state's permit. And we thought, as Senator Thune thought, that enabling folks to defend themselves before they're a victim of a crime is a great way to address the situation of violent crime. And so, you know, whereas the left wants you to be a victim first, obviously. And so we worked with Senator Thune uh, to amend the hate crimes bill, which was going to pass. They had way more than 60 votes for that bill to offer an amendment to the hate crimes bill with this concealed carry uh, legislation. So we didn't know how we were going to do it, though. I mean, we uh, wrote an op-ed and made the case for defending yourself uh, against violent crime. We sent out a news release, so we got some, some buzz going in terms of free media. And then we used our database to email. We used Twitter to get out the word. And we 